Hey guys, this is Peter from MyJewelryBench.com and today we're going to do a simple test. We're going to do uh, three simple ring designs. I'm going to break this down into three parts showing you three different ways to make a plain band that we can modify later. So the first rig we're going to make is going to be made with a torus. A torus is a mesh that we can use in Blender to give us a round tubish uh, ring. So what we're going to do is Put our cursor in the middle, press Shift A to bring up the Add menu, select Mesh, and go down to the Torus. And here you see we have a Torus. And now we're going to move the cursor over to the left side where the Tools properties are, and we're going to bring up the Torus properties. We're going to select the major segments, and we're going to increase them to 100-ish. And the minor segments we're going to increase to 36. Okay, so now you can see we have much more detail on our torus. And now what I want to do is use the major radius and minor radiuses to give us a size that we kind of like. So we're going to make it about like that to give us a small ring. And here you can see we have a ring based on a torus. This is a mesh. So if we hit the tab key to enter into edit mode, you can see we have lots of vertices, edges, and faces on this piece. We'll go back into object mode. And that is our first ring. To make this a little bit more ring shaped, because right now it's a tube and we don't see too many rings that are shaped as a tube, what we're going to do is hit the S key to size this and then the Z key to size it up and down using the, the Z axis. And you can see here, now we have kind of what we would call in the jewelry industry a comfort fit ring. That's the first shape or the first way we can make rings. And we can go in and edit it because it is a mesh. We can kind of add uh, holes to it to put stones in and do all kinds of funky little things to it. We're going to cover more in depth as we get farther along in the course. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to make uh, a flat ring. A flat ring is typically uh, a ring with sharp edges uh, that rings around the finger in a band shape but has uh, flat sides, flat top, flat inside. Now to do this we're going to use two meshes, both meshes are going to be cylinders. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a cylinder first by hitting Shift A, Mesh, and then we're going to come down to Cylinder. Now, you can see this is kind of a long, uh, like a pipe looking thing, a tube thing. What we're going to do is we're going to shrink this down by hitting the S and Z key and then moving our cursor towards the middle of the uh, middle of the object. And you can see I'm making it a little bit more well actually before we do that let's go over to the tools property for the cylinder and let's where it says vertices here what we're going to do is change that to 64 and that gives us a much better definition to this curvature of the band now we're going to come over here and we're going to select s and z and then we're going to size it down okay right about there now the s and z allows us to move the sizing along the z-axis, the blue line. The y-axis is the green and the x-axis, which would be the red. So you can hit size and then you move the cursor with your mouse and you see we, we're sizing it in every direction, x, y, and z. So really all I want to do is just size it by pressing and releasing s and then pressing and releasing z and then we can make it go up and down along the z-axis only. So there's our cylinder, and what we're going to do is turn that into a ring, and how we do that is we're going to add another cylinder. So we're going to hit Shift-A, Mesh, and then go down to Cylinder. And now this particular cylinder, we're going to hit S and then size it down by moving the cursor towards the object so that it is slightly smaller in diameter as to the first cylinder. Okay, so there's our two cylinders. The first one, or the second one, is the one we have highlighted. Select the second one if it's not already selected so that it has a yellow ring around it. Press and hold the shift key and then click on the first cylinder. 
Now the first cylinder is our object that we're going to retain and it's highlighted in yellow. The second cylinder will be the one that we remove and that's highlighted in red. We're going to use a boolean tool. A boolean tool is where you can add and subtract things and to do that we're going to scroll down on the tools menu and hit the difference and there is our flat ring. And for the last ring, we're going to do one that's a little bit more complicated in the sense that this ring, instead of using meshes, uses curves. Curves are handled in a completely different way. Now we're going to cover curves in greater detail as we get farther in the course. And this is just to show you that you can create simple rings using curves and meshes. So what we're going to do here, instead of adding a mesh, we're going to hit Shift A and we're going to come down to the curves option and then select circle. Now the first circle we add, we're going to size that down. So what you're going to do is keep your mouse in the 3D window, press S and then size it down. And we're going to move it over a little bit so it's a lot of the way. Now we're going to add a second curve. So hit Shift A again, select curves and then circle. Now you can see the first circle is right here and the second circle is much larger. And what we're going to do is select the second circle so it's highlighted in yellow. Over on the Properties tab, what we're going to do is come over to the Curvature Properties, which is this little one right here. Select that. And now under Bevel edge, or bevel Property or Bevel Object, we're going to select the first circle. And you can see that we've created kind of like a donut. Now, I'm going to zoom in here so we can see this better. The cool thing about using curves is that I can have a perfectly shaped object in a curve where it has no jagged edges and then we can shape it to almost anything we want but we're going to try doing it with the circle here and how we do that is select the first circle that we're using for our what we're going to use as a shape basically and we're going to hit s and then x and then i'm going to move the cursor in and out you can see i'm adjusting the shape of this ring and i can make it very thin i can make it a little thicker I can give it a nice beveled edge and I'm going to come in a little bit, make a little bit oval. And if we look at that now, you can see we have kind of what we would call a comfort fit band that has a rounded edge on the inside that matches the rounded edge on the outside. Now, you could leave it like this. And I'm going to show you a little trick here because we can't really do much with curves. All we can do is adjust the way they look and in the form that they take in kind of a contemporary uh, wave. So what we want to do here is give the inside edge a little bit of a flatter uh, flat edge to it. To do this we have to actually take this and convert it to a mesh. We select our ring, in this case the second circle that we have, and we're going to press alternate C together and we're going to bring up the convert to menu and then you can see we can convert to a curve from a mesh or a mesh from a curve. So we're going to select the second option, a mesh from a curve. And now we have a mesh. When we adjust the first circle, if I hit S and X again, you can see we're not making any changes because we've detached the two from being connected to each other. And I'm going to delete this by hitting the X key and then delete. Let me just go through that one more time. Hit Control Z to undo. Control Z is great because it'll allow you to undo anything. We're going to select the ring and now I want to get rid of the first one. I'm going to select it with the left mouse button so it's highlighted in yellow. Press X and then we're going to delete it. Now to give this a flat inner look because we have kind of a beveled edge on the inner part of the ring I'm going to select another mesh we're going to add another cylinder like we did the other the last part so shift A and we're going to go to mesh and then cylinder now we're going to come down to the cylinder properties and we're going to make that 64 so that we have a much tighter radius on that and if we look at our ring and we look at the cylinder you can see we kind of end up with a sharp edge in between them so I'm going to size the cylinder by selecting it and then pressing the S key and then sizing it down a little bit so we end up with slightly rounded inner edge about like that 
And if we zoom in, you can see it kind of curves in a little bit right about there. Now I'm going to hold the shift key down and select my ring. The object in yellow is the object that will be retaining when we use the Boolean tool. And the object in red is the part that will be removed and then subtract the, the differences between the two meshes and leave us with a nice band. And I'm gonna come down here, click difference. And you can see now that we have a smooth edge on the inside and yet we have a nice curved round edge on the outside. And that's how we make a, another style ring. So in our three rings, these are the basics that we'll be using most of the time. And as you get into more contemporary styles, we're going to look at these in a much different way. But this is pretty much how we do it. So what I want you to do from now until the next course comes out is to practice these three tricks with Blender and make a bunch of rings and play with sizing them and adjusting them and come up with some you know weird ideas. Go ahead and save them if you want and then you can play with them later. Uh, it's really cool and you just need to have these concepts down so we can move on to the next part. Thanks. This is Peter from MyJewelryBench.com and if you like this video please share it. If you like our website and you want to be kept up to date, uh, sign up for the newsletter and you'll get uh, weekly newsletters on upcoming courses and other information that we have, reviews and things like that. Have a good day.